Hi folks, uh, back again for more rivet training exercises. Okay, now we've got this file for Lisa Moss, our uh, 2018 certification exam guy. And this is just a basic floor plan, uh, level two floor plan of this building here. So what we want to do is we want to create an RCP, a reflective ceiling plan. So basically all you do here is pretty simple. You need to go up into our view tab. And on the view we have plan views here. So we'll select plan view and go where it says reflect the ceiling plan. And from this point on, these are all of our ceiling plans for each level. So for this level two we want, we want to select level two and select OK. And then that'll create our ceiling plan. As you can see here, that just showed up in our project browser. So let's zoom in here. I just want to focus on one room for right now. So we'll go into this room. And then uh, we want to go into the architecture tab under annotate. And we want to select tag all. Now, once the tag all dialog box is opened up, we want to select room tags. So once room tag is selected, we'll press OK. Now, all our room names are generated because we have room bounding on all in, in this file. It also works with link files. Now let's zoom in on this bedroom 204. And now let's activate the architecture ribbon and go on to ceiling. Now we'll select ceiling and we'll hover over this room. And as you can see the red line outside of it, we'll just tick it. But we want to change the ceiling type to basically, let's do a generic one here. Okay, so we have our generic ceiling in. Now let's escape out of this command because we're only interested in that one room. So let's escape out. Now let's do a window area around this room. And there's our ceiling that we just uh, placed in. So let's go to our filter now. And in the filter tab, we want to uh, actually see I got two ceilings in there because I actually placed two. Let's say OK here. No, we want to check none and then select our ceiling. And we'll say apply. And OK. Now, once that's done, as you can see over here, like we did in the other video, these are our parameters for the uh, ceiling. You have the height. This is in room bounding, should be checked to pick up the room names. And then the perimeter in the area of the, uh, the ceiling. So that's basically it. Remember, you know, this is kind of important. They always want to uh, want you to show this perimeter and area, basically. So anyway, folks, I'm going to leave it there. That's about it. Any more questions or any videos you like, put it in the comment section. And, and uh, subscribe uh, if you want to do some good rivet training and focusing on simple things and complex values. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.